Hello there. In today's video, I will be showing you how to set up the Meg Navigation feature on your team, the same way as how it is set up on the Venue Demo Store. The Mega Navigation enables one or more links in your main menu to become a trigger which will then open a multi-column nested menu. You can group products, collections or pages together to make it easier for customers to navigate your store. You can also add an image to your Mega Navigation to promote certain products, collections and landing pages. To begin creating your Mega Navigation, you will need to create a new menu within your store's navigation settings and this is the menu you can use for your Mega Navigation. To do this, you must first be logged into your Shopify admin. From the admin homepage, click the online store option to the left hand side. Next, select navigation underneath online store. Within my navigation settings, you will see I have created a menu named Main Mega, but I will create another for the purpose of this video. To create a new menu, select the Add Menu option to the right hand side, title the menu Mega Menu, and now you can begin to add your menu items. Click Add Menu Item, and you will see a pop-up appear where you can name the menu item and then add a link to it. Since I am recreating the menu you see in our demo store, I will name the first menu item Home, and I will link Home to the home page. Since I've added home to the menu, I will move on to creating the next menu item which will be the trigger for the Mega Navigation menu. I will name this menu item Store, and in this case I don't want the actual store heading to link anywhere when clicked on, so I will place a hashtag symbol in the link field. Next, I'm going to create the three menu items I want to display as headings within the Mega Navigation. They are Accessories, Tees and Knits, and Headwear. So firstly, I'll create the Accessories menu item, and I'll link Accessories to the Accessories collection. Next, I'll create the Tees and Knits menu item, and I'll link Tees and Knits to the Tees and Knits collection. And lastly, I'll create the Headwear menu item, and I'll link Headwear to the Headwear collection. To connect these menu items to the store menu item, which I've chosen as the trigger for the Mega Navigation, I will drag and drop each of them within store, like so. All three of these menu items will act as headings, and I am now going to create a list of menu items to display below each specific heading. I will begin by creating the first menu item to be listed underneath Accessories, and I will name it All Products so I can link customers to the All Products page. Now, just like how I dragged and dropped accessories, tees and knits and headwear within the store menu item, I will drag and drop all products within accessories. I want to create 5 more menu items to display within accessories, but I'll fast forward this process so you don't have to watch me create each one. I will now create the menu items to list within tees and knits and headwear. There are 6 menu items I want to create for tees and knits, and there are 4 menu items for headwear. I will also fast forward the process of me creating these menu items. Now that I have created all of the menu items to include within my store menu item, I will now create 4 more menu items to display as the main headings in the Mega Navigation alongside Home and Store. These menu items are About, FAQ, Blog and Contact. All of these menu items will feature as the main menu headings alongside Home and Store. Now that my Mega Menu is complete, I can look to save the menu and display this menu within my store's header area. To do this, I need to click on Online Store and then select Customize for the theme I'm using. Once I'm in the Theme Customizer, I can click the header option within the sidebar and it is here where you will see the option to firstly select which menu you want to display in the header area. I will choose the Mega Menu I just created. I will then enable the Mega Navigation setting so my team recognises I want to display my menu 
in a nested mega navigation. I'm also going to add an image to my menu and link this image to the all products page. Having an image in your menu is a great way to promote any product, page or collection on your store that you'd love for your customers to visit. You also have the ability to place an image heading, link label and link to accompany the image if you'd like. As you can now see, when I hover over the menu item store within my menu, the drop down appears within accessories, tees and knits and headwear acting as headings in this multi-column nested menu. If you would rather use a more simple drop down menu, you can disable the mega navigation setting and you will see the menu format changes from a multi-column navigation to a single column navigation for a more traditional drop down look. So now, we have learned how to create a multi-column nested menu known as Mega Navigation or Mega Menu and how to use it as your store's main menu. You have also learned how to display your menu as a simple drop-down nested navigation if you would rather not use the Mega Navigation option. If you would like to read the articles within our help center in relation to the Mega Navigation or a simple navigation, please visit our help center through the links below this video. If you have any questions for our support team, please reach out to us by email on support at safeasmilk.co. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Until next time, take care. Thank you.